Hello, it is finally time to talk about power consumption of ESP32. As you know, <laughs> ESP32 can be quite hungry. In many cases we are forced to use some kind of battery and our ESP32 drains that battery very quickly. Today I will show you how uh, we can reduce consumption and extend usage time. In this first part we will not uh, use all the power saving methods and sleep modes. This topic will be divided in several videos. This channel is focused on development boards that already have some kind of display built in and of course display also consumes lots of power. So we will test boards that we have most frequently frequently used on this channel. In this first part we will not be using Wi-Fi or Bluetooth. We will measure consumption using this simple example. This example will measure battery voltage. This example use built-in real-time clock chip to display time. Measures frame per second. Here we have core temperature and this animation to better il illustrate frame changes. And here we have brightness of the screen. The settings we will uh, use will affect all these factors as well as energy consumption. Sketch is really simple and I will uh, I will share it with you so you can check it and maybe make your own tests. So basically we have a loop function w which will update our variables and draw function which will draw simple few lines and some text on display. Uh, there are two ways for powering these boards. First is using USB port and second one is using this battery connector. We will measure power consumption only using this battery connector because if you powering board with USB there is also voltage regulator which convert 5 volts to 3.3 and that voltage regulator also needs few milliamps of power. And here is my setup. Here I have battery connected to this female USB port and the reason for that is because I will use this device. So this side of device is connected to battery and I can see that voltage of my battery is 4.07 and right now there is no power through this device. And here on this battery connector I have another male USB cable. This is of course Lilygo T-Display S3 board and I will connect it here. And we can see that our example draws a lot of power. So 114, sometimes more than 150 milliamps and this is 500 milliamp hour battery so if you use battery life calculator we can see that th theoretically in theory this battery will be empty in 3 hours and 25 minutes so first thing <laughs> what you can do first thing 
we can do with these kind of boards, I'm talking about board with built-in display, is to reduce the brightness. Right now, you probably don't see this on camera, but this brightness, this board is too bright. My eyes hurts. This value represents brightness and I can reduce brightness with this button. So brightness can be number from 0 to 255. In my example, at beginning brightness is 255 and you will notice if I reduce brightness power consumption will also reduce and a lot From 140, we reduce it to 87 milliamps. This is 120. Brightness is, for me, in mo most cases, sweet spot when using these boards indoor. If we reduce it more, power consumption will also reduce I wouldn't go under 100 so now we have 87 now we have 5 hours and 45 minutes we can see that board is run on maximum speed. This voltage is of course not correct because uh, analog digital converters on ESP32 are, are not great. And we can see that um, right now board is running on max speed and we have about 30 frames per second and our temperature is rising. I'm now <laughs> at my basement so it is really cold here but it will on this speed it can even reach like I saw 47 Celsius. But do we need that maximum speed? Let's try to reduce speed in order to reduce power consumption. So remember that at max speed and brightness 120 we have around 87 milliamps. I will disconnect this in order to connect my USB port because we need to re-upload most of people never touch this part and it is important that if you want to use Bluetooth or Wi-Fi you can use only these three settings so let's try to 160 megahertz Okay, now we have speed on of one, 160 megahertz and we can notice that power consumption at max brightness is less than 140. If we reduce brightness to our sweet spot it is 76 but we can also notice that now frame frame rate is lower from 87 to 77 and now we have 6 hours and 29 minutes 
Let's try reduce speed even more. Now we are running on 80 megahertz with max brightness we have 134 if we reduce to 120 we now have 65 milliamps but of course when we reduce speed we also reduce frame per seconds but in theory do you have really need 30 frames per seconds to display data from temperature sensor or clock or I don't know sometimes you need 30 frames per second when you trying to for example when I when I play games on these boards I need as many I can get frames per second you can also notice that now temperature it is lowering so right now we, we have 65 milliamps running at 80 hertz now we have 7 hours and 41 minutes if we reduce it even further to 40 megahertz okay at 40 megahertz frame rate is really low but temperature is also much lower and if I reduce brightness I can get 52 milliamps if I reduce even further we can get 37 but and now we have 9 hours and 36 minutes I repeat this is only theoretically there are few more settings we can change speed to 20 megahertz and 10 I will skip 20 megahertz uh, because I never use 20 and 10 megahertz because frame rate is too low for my needs but just for you to see we'll try lowest setting you can see that frame rate per second is very low <laughs> one frame rate and it is really hard to change brightness and in this setup we have 44 milliamps power draw now we have lifetime more than 11 hours theoretically probably you will not get even nine so maybe sometimes this speed will be okay maybe you will update screen only if something changes you don't want overheat your board maybe this will be okay but I never use less than 40 megahertz so now we learn that <laughs> speed and brightness affects power consumptions a lot and other saving methods are sleeping modes basically there are many sleeping modes but two most important are deep sleep and light sleep and I can see that this video is already too long 
So, in next part we will cover deep sleep, light sleep, we will also check AMOLED power consumption and we will check will a smaller screen need same power. Thank you. Have a nice day. If you learn something, please subscribe, please share. If you want, you can buy me coffee like always. Thank you. Please tell me what you think in comments. Goodbye.